It is August 17th. I am in Hope Valley, California, which is actually my little valley. My home, uh, I just came up behind a row of fire trucks. And even though it looks cloudy, it's been bone dry and 100 degrees all summer long, and so you can see the vegetation is actually knee high. And we had lightning storms, and now I see a thunder or a huge uh, fire cloud in the distance. And it's where we're headed, and it's in California, and right in my teeny tiny valley. We don't even have a population sign. There it is. So it's farther, it's farther south of Poe Valley. Like maybe upper childs we're gonna go out to the valley and look back and see what we see yeah that looks like it's burning down towards Napa but it looks like it's already massive not Napa that would be uh, there's Rutherford and St. Marina stuff like that, or that could be Charles Valley, but it looks good. Like that I have seen and I've been to four large, huge fires now. Again, I mean evacuated three times during that, um, and had black soil, black burnt soil within uh, a mile of my home, repeated. So, um, we are on Hardin Road here. My problem is, is that I see the plumes of the smoke all the way over here coming from there. That means the wind has blown it all the way over there since start. And I've seen these things turn into, into firestorms, raining down showers of ash. So this entire strip in between us is actually in some pretty massive danger. This is Harden Road. I have friends that live up and down this. Well, now the wind is picking up to a roar. All of a sudden, I grabbed the camera because I heard the noise coming. The spot where I was going to go metal detecting, it's right near my home. Oh, this isn't good. This can be the wind that comes off of the fire. This is what I've seen before. Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll swim out to an island on this lake. If we have to. I was not trying to put myself in this, but yeah, these are Amber is floating down all around us. Damn it, we're in the storm wind of this. There it is. And you're looking at it, dry chaparral. We have lightning, thunder, crazy wind. The fire is actually right here. This is probably weather coming off of it. I, uh, yeah.
It's raining, it's thunder, it's lightning. We got hail. We got hail storm, lightning storm, fire storm, wind storm. So now that I have gotten to a vantage point where I can look back, I realized that uh, well, my focus was over here on this huge one. This is what's called Cedar Ruffs. And uh, that's massive, but I was looking all the way over here and there's all these fires in Knoxville public area. Joining to the space behind my home. So it's time to go home and all that. See you. Just so you know where I am, I'm gonna have to evacuate. Uh, we're getting the call. The lightning started a bunch of fires all around us. I don't. I don't want to cause a bunch of drama and a bunch of fear, so I just want you to know my house will be fine. Uh, been evacuated, this will be my fourth time. Wow, I can see the plume of smoke from here and I am in another town trying to get home to get my animals and then evacuate. The fire trucks are in my neighborhood. I live way outside of town on a dead end road. And that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next few days. I might be hunkered down with some internet service um, that family at their home and so I'll send out regular videos. I uh, hope everybody is okay out there. Um, that's my house right there. been afraid of that one broke out after I was gone and it broke out in between the other one and my house in a dead-end valley with our neighborhood at the end of it I don't know what it's gonna look like because I've been doing 70 to 80 miles an hour and I have been out of contact because I'm absolutely not looking at a phone I don't look through the screen, never look through your screen on these shots. No, 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 that's far away, that's home. right there. My house is freaking right there. God, there's more over there too. There's actually more over here. We're surrounded. This was lightning fire. So you see the pillar there? See the pillar there? See the pillar there? I could shoot my house with a pellet gun from here. I do not look through the lens finder when I am shooting this. I aim it, I focus. I'm stuffing everything I can in my truck. I have went down the deck. 
I don't want to step out front. There's the fire plumes, you guys, over the hill of my house. It may blow it all that way in this ice. Is what we're hoping, but I gotta get out of here. Here's my front yard. Now we have this really tall stack over it. But I think it's blowing away. Looks like it is mostly moving away. We have another flare up. Down. This one popped up over here. That's not a cloud. But that is the smoke off of a massive fire. Yeah, the pillar that was here has moved over and blown this way. You see far off fires a few ridges over there. See how far away that is by the pine trees. And there's a down canyon, a river. And this. Some over here to our left. Gigantic thing. Has sprung to life. But it's already for sure done a lot of damage. And it's getting on into evening time. And that is the view east, northeast, and southeast. Meanwhile, we walk to the other end of the house and I see that we have had pretty drastic change here. Man, this is looking fast when you see the clouds moving, the smoke moving that fast. It's a sign of how close it is to you. The fact that there's this shade that is moving quickly and the back shade that is farther away and that there's contrast between the two but that right there has some difference in color because this whole thing that you're seeing here 
just uh, just got fuel. Oh yeah, it's it's moving fast. If you look at the billows, moving fast probably because it's closer in relativity than the things that are farther away. So it appears to be moving quicker, although I'm sure all of the billows here in this fire are quick. You just can't tell. Folks, I don't want to seem callous at all during this. This is my home. This is my neighbor's home. So I live at a dead end road in a neighborhood that was built way out in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, and I've been evacuated four out of five years. So. I am standing, like I said, at the entrance of Etna Spring, looking east past the horse ranches of Rock Ridge Ranch. And I have to drive away from here now. By the time I see this hill in the daylight again, it will be scorched off and yet another area of California mountains and homes and ranches devastated. I drive by this every day. My children's school where all three of my girls went to school is right over here. Like I said, there are three fires right now. And uh, huge like this, I'm going down There's the Pope Valley School, and this is the end of the hills at the end of Barnett Road, and the hills that parallel Pope Creek as it makes its way out to Lake Berryessa, and everything and all the properties that are along all of that. And like I said, that goes all the way down that way and all the way down that way. This was individual lightning strikes that have joined together to oh, create situations where half the fires couldn't even be located until they got big enough to be found in very steep, crazy terrain. Still shooting from the Pope Valley School, looking at the end of Barnett Road and the mountains above it. Still just recording this for the people whose lives will be affected by it.
for posterity in general. It's the only goal here. actually a fire. We're headed back up to Edna Springs. For locals who know. I have not seen a single roadblock uh, here so I'm not running around interfering with any business. Uh, the spotters watching for flare-ups and stuff are all way far to the east of us. Now as I go by Hubcap Ranch, and I am looking up onto, what this must be, I think I'm looking at Oat Hill, the Oat Hill, which uh, Oat Hill Road runs up on from the backside from Middletown, if you know the area. I think I see huge flare-ups on Oat Hill. Which is really bizarre because I don't understand. Yeah, we're looking at Oat Hill is on fire. I am uh, coming up again to the TN connection point of Etna Springs Road. And I am looking north. Here's the fire we were looking at to the right. Sorry for the screwed up photography. I am just using my Sony handy cam here. As we turn on to Fatness Springs Road. What is this about? And why is this happening over here? Literally so far away from all these others it's ridiculous and what is it doing burning look at that that's ridiculous and it's huge already what the okay so let me try and explain this you're looking at the fire that we were looking at that is over at Berryessa and Spanish Valley behind my house then farther this way, try and get both in shot. It's actually connected, but behind hills here are the fires that stretch all the way down to Hennessy and Turtle Rock. Here's the glow of the fire that is breaking out in Morgan Valley. And then this is Oat Hill right here which burst into flames in the time since I have left my home and even started trying to film this. So I got down to Pope Valley School, saw this glow. That's what it is, it's the top of Oat Hill. Now the problem with that is that that's, you can't see it in the dark, but that's a whole separate range of mountains that stretches up this way into into uh, Angwin and stuff. It's the other side of the valley where some of these are far away and that one not so much far away but we know where it's burning and we've been watching it. This is actually right here. I don't know if you can see by the scale and look down and try and get more of a scope of what's going on before we head out. And I am evacuating, I am just documenting on my way out. On 
basically the end of Barnett Road. And then over here, you can see the glow from Morgan Valley. And you have to pardon me. I'm to uh, do way more than it's supposed to do, but that is the underbelly of a massive cloud coming off of a fire that broke out separate and north. I'm sitting on the road that climbs up that you would use to drive up the mountain to park and hike over the Oat Hill Mine Road and down into Calistoga. I am on the back side of the Palisades. Instead of looking west into the Napa Valley, I am looking east into Pope Valley, looking across it into its eastern hills that divide it from the basin, which is the basin that holds Lake Berryessa now, and once the town of Monticello. So this fire basically goes all the way up those mountains and what you're seeing is is where it's poking its head out. So it means that this fire that we are looking at has probably burnt on the back side of these Hills that look like a black hole and we can't see any flame, but they are probably actually connected on the back side because there's an undeveloped series of small valleys and canyons which uh, we've been exploring in before.